day 24. Compassion. Let's get started. Alright my lovelies, let's get started on child's pose today. Remember that you can grab any prop that is going to make your life easier on this pose. Otherwise, bring your knees together, send your tailbone back, forehand on the mat, and extend your arms in front of you, palms down on the ground. Begin with some connection on your back, lifting through your armpits, keeping your elbows extend, but allowing the shoulders to be as relaxed as they can be without any unnecessary tension. Some work is welcome and necessary, but only giving enough to keep the upper body a bit active. And allow your head and your neck to be supported by the ground. Notice your breathing. Notice your belly pushing on your thighs as you inhale. And the release that follows the exhale. Then bring both of your arms towards your ankles. Allow the shoulders to round forward. And let the whole ground support you. Let yourself be held at this moment. Today our practice has a lot of relaxing stretches some restorative poses. And these poses allow us to take a look inside. So I invite you to open your mind and give yourself time to be on the stillness with this slow flow. Slowly begin to come out of child's pose, bringing yourself up into all fours. Open your knees as wide as your hips and extend your right leg back, tuck the toes under and press back and forth a couple times. Doing a very passive stretch to the quad, to the calf and the ankle. And just like that, switch the leg. Nothing complicated, very simple. We're going to be on our knees for a little while. So remember to grab some cushion if your knees need that. So bring yourself on top of your shins. Side body stretch. We have done this one on the past before. Extend your right leg to the side. Toes are slightly pointing forward. Soft bend on the knee, but engagement through your right leg. Press through your left knee and use the core to support your joints while you lift your left arm up. And use the exhale to stretch the left side of your body. Careful not to push that with your right hand. Let the support come from the core. Find that long spine. 
Then keep that length and lift up through center. Second side, switch it out. Left leg to the side. Standing on top of your right knee, left leg engages slightly. Right arm up. And the exhale takes you over. Hmm. Notice if one side feels different than the other. Just notice, get to know your body. Which area, which side holds more or less tension. Then lift up. Knees underneath you. Turn to the side and bring your right leg forward. Hands framing your left foot. Press your pelvis towards your right heel. Push into your right heel. And find the breath so you can help elongate your left quad. I need a little bit of cushion on my left knee. Try not to collapse on the pose. It's like finding that happy medium in a place where you can release but not collapse. Huh, different concepts there. Then very easy, push your right heel and come out of the pose for the second leg. Right leg back. Press through your left leg and begin to bring your hips forward. And using the breath to expand your body to create more space in the muscles. Bring the exhale to soften deeper. Compassion. For some reason, it's easier to offer compassion to others, but very challenging to offer compassion to ourselves. So today we're exploring that idea of compassion to oneself which is very different from self-pity. Press away from the pose using your core and your left leg. And then bring yourself into all fours once more. For cat cows. Inhale, fill up your belly with air. And exhale, round it down. Move at your own pace, as we always do. And so what is compassion? There's many definitions. Some people say it's grace, understanding, acceptance, empathy. And why is it hard to give it to ourselves? And then come out of the pose and let's come back to sitting. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees to the side. If you need, you can grab some pillows to place under your knees. Grab your ankles. Find the sits bones on the mat. Connecting with the floor. Then engage your core to find length through the spine. And keep that length as you start to hinge from your hips forward. 
if it's accessible for you, you can use your elbows to gently but firmly press your knees down to the ground and direct your heart towards your feet. We're going to stay here for a couple minutes, breathing and allowing the body to soften its grip. while we use the breath to let the body know that it's safe to let go, to expand, to soften. So compassion is a great tool that can actually help us to move forward. I think of compassion as a deep understanding of our shared humanity. Understanding that we all go through challenging times, through pain and suffering. And to see that to see it for what it is, part of life, and allowing those feelings to be there, but not to keep us stuck, to see them, and then move forward. Instead of pitying ourselves, and letting the feelings keep us down, keep us stale, keep us in the suffering. Compassion helps us to move forward. Slowly start to come out of the pose. Bring your hands on the outer side of your knees and help your knees to come in towards each other. Bring your hands behind your hips and bring both of your legs to one side and then the opposite. We have done this one a couple times. A little variation with the legs together. All right, come back to sitting and open your legs a bit wide today. No need to go super, super wide here. Flex your toes, find that same length through the spine using the core connection, then begin to hinge forward from your hips as your legs stay active. And then you begin to walk your hands in front. Then when you have arrived to the spot where you feel a good stretch on your inner thighs, then stay there for a couple breaths. And notice how if you use your breath with time your body starts to soften in maybe half of an inch, less than an inch, maybe more than an inch. Being where we are, I think compassion talks about acceptance as well which is very different from giving up. Again, compassion is a tool that can help us to move forward. It's like that unconditional love of a mother or a father to its child. How can we begin to foster that energy into ourselves 
for ourselves, for the sake of something new. Slowly lift it up. Bring your legs together. And bring yourself on the left side of your left leg. Flex both of your feet. Left forearm down on the ground and shoulder, elbow underneath your left shoulder. Send your right leg behind you and you can bend your knee. Now keep your left foot flexed and begin to twist your heart towards the ground. Maybe bringing both forearms on the floor. Maybe bringing the whole torso down if it's available. You can even grab a pillow or a block or something to give you some support here. Try to keep your left foot flex. This is an Aitivan stretch. Basically, we're stretching the outer side of our left leg. Make any adjustments here. is the stretch for you today. Maybe you feel it a lot, maybe you don't feel it at all. Notice as we practice that awareness, being aware of what's happening. Let's do two more breaths. And slowly use your hands to bring yourself up to seating. Bring both legs in front of you. Second side. Bring yourself on the top, on the right side of your right leg. Forearm down. Left leg back, bend your knee. That legs, your right foot. And then begin to twist your torso towards the ground. Are you looking different from me right now? That's all right. Even if you're higher or even lower, that's all right. By now, you might know all of that, right? Day 24. You guys, day 24. You're making lots of progress. There's some pumping music playing outside of the studio. Racket. Just do two more breaths, whatever you are. And slowly come on up. Sway your legs all the way to the side because you're coming down into your back. Grab the back of your thighs, round through your spine, and let's go down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Extend your legs in front of you. Send your arms up to the sky and behind you. Now flex your toes, fingertips towards them. Draw your chin towards your chest, push the navel down and peel your spine away from the ground. 
slowly lifting up to seating. Arms go all the way up. Exhale, round through the spine. Keep your toes flexed, reaching energy through your heels, rounding and going all the way back down. Let's do four of those at your own pace, doing your best. Understanding that it takes practice to train your muscles, to train your mind. And understanding that where you are today is not where you're going to be forever. As we're always moving, changing, growing. Two more. Bring it down. Sometimes I lost count. Lift it up. Try to not use any momentum at all. Do your best to not use any momentum. This is going to be the last one. Let's go slow for 10, for nine, yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and soften your beautiful body good job bring the feet on the ground and sway your knees side to side easy here think of moving from your pelvis Then send both of your legs all the way to the left side, chest up to the sky. Do your best to keep both of your shoulder blades flat on the ground. Come back through center, second side. Ah. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a song outside of the studio playing. Any way you want it, any way you need it, or something like that. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. I think that's appropriate for this moment. Any way you want it, baby. That's what your body needs. Just for this moment, give it to yourself. Oh, we come back to center and dry your knees to your chest. Give them a big hug. Circle your ankles, both directions. Circle your knees. Anyway, any direction. Shavasana. Mm -hmm. Open the arms to the side. Soften your body. Let yourself be held by the ground. Meaning, you don't truly have to do anything. You don't have to tense any muscle. Do any specific pose to be supported. Truly begin to open yourself to the possibility of trusting that the floor will catch you. And as always, you're welcome to stay.
stay here as long as you want. Pause the video and finish in silence. Or play your favorite song.